Not as much as oh, I was expecting. Oh no, what a small tournament. Maybe 100 people at our weekly. Hey, 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 the last three tournaments, we've actually had like 130. Like yeah, it was like 160 last week. Exactly, so that's my point. Light All right. All right, so we have Pride versus Mr. Big Two. For the duality, we have the lightest character in the game versus the heaviest. Yeah. The worst part is I don't know who kills the other one earlier. I'm going to say on stage Bowser. Yeah, you know what? That, that's fair. Mm -hmm. But then he gets like thrown off stage at 15 and Peachy might kill him. This definitely seems like one of those matches where in both of the discords they'd be like, oh man, our character wins because duh. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Bowser means wouldn't like this just because they get hit once and they take 80. Bowser means sometimes like the follow matchup. I don't know if I really trust what they're going to say. <laughs> I've never heard of Bowser when tell me they like Bowser. That's because you never talked to Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Anyways. god, is he dead at 80? I told you. Oh. <laughs> On stage, Bowser make you earlier, but here we go. Off stage, jumping right into that thunder. Nowhere to go. Alright, and there catches the roll on in the back. Your shield pokes. He's off stage, just gets it down. No good high recovery from Mr. Big Tuna. He punches right through that T-Jolt. Oh, that's a bad flame. Or Fire Breath to get back it off stage. Yeah, I'm really, I didn't agree with that Fire Breath. I definitely thought we were going to see an F Tilt. F Tilt lasts a long time, and especially with Pichu's recovery that doesn't really have a hitbox, it's going to be easy to hit. Instead Sorry, of these. Right there. He actually gets split by it, uses his double jump his back. Now, the big question is how is MBT going to be able to get around these Thunder Jolts? I, I think if they're like the Aerial T Jolts, they'll actually do knockback, but I feel like if it's grounded, Pichu or Bowser might be able to run through it. I mean, most of the time, they'll oh, punch. Oh, into the face. But what I was going to say is we don't see Pichu using grounded t uh, Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that was uh, going to be my other point is that, uh, yeah, grounded may be able to tough guy, but we never see it do it because, again, that aerial t jolt is just so good. It kind of right. just locks you in and confirms into combos. And air forces him off stage. Oh, and thank air God. dodge away from the forward smash. Another one really good air dodge here from the oh, but he did, does die in the back air. I don't know. The DI was a little bit suspect there, but... Again, Bow Bowser does have him at 70, 80%, so yeah, not Side B might kill. Side B will kill. Now we're 100%. And now good. There we go. There it is. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. My Ooh. heart racing. If I'm Pichu, I'm like, get me off this stage. So this is even. Nice. Yo, oh my no. God, did he do it to him at 50? He did. Oh, imagine jumping. Right? He just, he just tried to jump to get away from him, and he had that scouted out. Great. Remember, yeah, Byron Direct when Sakurai was doing Squad Strike, and Roy's at zero charging neutral B, and he's like, why are you charging, and just final smashes him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the why you jump in, though. He just o code him. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, Pride going to take that first game pretty commanding. Again, one stock to one each. That's just how Pichu is. I'd like to see Bowser go for a couple different things, maybe not jump as much, because we saw that's really... Where he, he died, died like a lot. Sub 80 both times to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to go for that fire breath at ledge, I'd like to see him again just kind of throw out the F tilts. Because they're just so much, it's a lot less committal. So game two, FD, what do you think of this pick? I um, I feel like this benefits pride, honestly. Yeah. I feel like this stage will be really good for Pichu just because you don't have any sort of platforms to hide from the two bolts under mm -hmm. or anything like that. No way to mix up your recovery. Whereas, big flat stage like this for Pichu, he can just kind of do whatever he wants. You know, nimble character, weave in and out, has no trouble landing. Oh my god, I think Pride went for the uh, for footstool there. I like that up B, just getting rid of the T-Jolt. Yeah, it is good that he's going high with it. Oh, I didn't think he was going to roll. It definitely looked like he had that uh, that F smash avoided, and then he just, he just rolled last second. Alright, here we go. Stage, he jumped again, but he didn't get hit with the sweet spot. Oh, he has to be so careful about these jumps. He's gotten it called out way too many times. And just gets punched from across stage at F to only 32%. Bowser can't even this up instantly, but Big Tune has always been playing from this deficit. He just gets this damage in after the fact. Yeah, I mean, that really seems to be the name of the game for Pride here. He gets this big lead, puts a lot of on Big Tune, then he dies, and Big Tune is good for a minute, and then it starts over again. Set up B, air dodges off stage. Oh, wow. Up. He's up B's on stage are a little bit risky, but considering Bowser 
hasn't been like standing there and reacting to try to get proper punishes, they're not the worst. But once they start getting called out, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely see some problems. And these up there? Yo, again, Pichu with these edge guards goes for the run off up air into the T jolt or into the thunder. Right now, Pride is going off. Oh no, that was such a scary spot to be in, but he's off stage still. No run off down from Pichu. Instead, catches the roll on with the nail. Another one gets the tech chase afterwards. Oh, another roll coming in. Yeah, we've seen quite a few rolls from Big Tuna, but he is able to finally get on his prime messes up his ledge trap. This actually could be it. The way that Pride's been playing. Yeah, there's the down. No great high recovery from this yeah. Tuna. Pride's definitely been second guessing himself on these down instead of just running off and doing it. And it's given Big Tuna these uh, extra chances to really recover. Because every time we've seen him run off of the downer, the Bowser always recovers that early. Should be it. No, again, there's the fear we're seeing from Pride where he doesn't want to go off stage. We're gonna see another roll. Yeah. Oh, oh no. that's dead. He's Jeff. so he's dead. So beyond so that. dead. That does not describe <laughs> it enough. Now again, he's at 120, but if he could recover, this is even. It, it's Rage Bowser. Oh my God! Oh. Get single here in the back here. This could be the start for Pride. He actually just got through that. But, uh, yeah, the like very end of it doesn't actually have a hitbox. 52 percent. Oh. Yo, okay. I feel like he wanted to go for the uh, the ledge trap. Oh no, that's it. No, he misses. Is he the gonna up down air? Down yep. air does <laughs> One side beam. That will be it. Pride has to be so scared. What? Oh, up back throw. Is that gonna kill? No, no, it's not gonna kill yet. But the next one will. Yeah. If he neutral gets up, then he gets another grab. Oh, that was so aggressive. Yo, that down air would have killed. Is he dead? Oh, the DI atrocious. Pride barely clutching that 